Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful diamond shade bracelet. It's really easy to make, it's like a beginner's level tutorial so with my easy step-by-step -step instructions I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. I also have diamond shape earrings and I'll link to them here at the eye icon uh, to be able to see them and make a beautiful set. And now if you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And in this way, you will know when I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Another way to support me is to like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching and helping me. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here are three sizes of beads, 6 o's, 8 o's and 11 o's. These are the most commonly used sizes of beads and here I use a clasp, lobster's claw and here I use a jump ring. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters size 10 beading needle. I will put first half an arm span of thread on this needle and then I will add more and this is scissors. So now I'm going to start. Okay and now I have about half an arm span of thread and I'm going to take four of these beautiful six O's. Okay I'm sliding them down sticking my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. Okay, I'm making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and now I'm going to make one more knot like this and pull again. Okay, then I will go through one of my beads in this direction. Okay, now you see what I have here. And now guys, what I do is that I take one red bead, go through the following white, take one more, go here, one more and take the last one okay pull now in my next step I'm going to take one red bead and as I'm exiting from this, this bead in this direction I'm going through the opposite bead in the same direction where my thread is pointing to and I'm pulling and when I pull I have this, it looks like a flower. Then what I do is take five of these beautiful 11 old black beads. Okay, I have my five here and I'm going back in circle through this white bead. Okay, like this. Now you see what I have. I have something like a loop here. Okay. Then I want to exit out of my next white bead like this. Pull. And I'm going to take five more seed beads. Okay. I have five here. And I'm going back in circle through this white one. The same way I showed you before. You see what I have? Pull. Go here in the next white bead. Like that. Take five again. Okay, five. And I'm going here. And if you can, in one movement, go also through the red one. 
and my goal is to exit out of my next white bit just like that here I need five black beads okay I need five and I'm going back in circle through this white bead here okay just like this okay then I'm going through the red one in this direction and through the following two black beads like this then what I do is that I skip this one at the angle of my work skip this one in the middle and when I pull you see here I have an angle because I'm going through these two and through these two and skipping this one it goes outside like an angle okay then I went through this red one and through the following two black beads skipping this one at the angle this one here and going through the next two black beads and through the following red if you can in one movement and now guys what I do is that I repeat this two more times go here skip this one pull now I have my diamond shape okay square or diamond depending on how you turn it okay and I'm pulling okay now I have my element ready and what I'm going to do is attach my clasp here because from here on I will start my next element after I attach my clasp okay and in order to attach my clasp I need two seed beads I need my clasp and because this is the front part I will attach it in this direction you see where this middle bead is is the front side and this is the back side okay so pay attention how you put it okay and then I'm going to take two more beads like this and I'm going back in circle through the same black bead pulling okay now this is what I have and I'm going to reinforce this here by going around about three times okay guys now I have my clasp attached here and what I do is that I want to go to the other part of this element and show you how to make another element that is similar with this one that is the same I mean okay now in order to do this I'm going here in this white to go faster then I'm going here through these three beads in this direction okay and from here on I will start my next element but I will do this the other way around not starting from the center but starting from one of my sides okay now I will take two black beads one white and two blacks okay now this is what I have on my needle just follow the instructions and everything will be okay and now guys when I go around like this this is what I have okay I will flip my work because it's easier for me this way okay and I'm going through these two beads pulling then going through the center of my work okay and guess what I will flip again always flip the way it's easier for you okay now I'm going to take three more white beads okay I have three white beads here 
and now I will go here back in circle through this white bead and I will go here one more time like this reinforcing my work then in my next step I'm going to take one red bead going through here one more red going here take one more red I'm basically repeating what I did in my previous element from here on okay now I will go here through this white bead and here at this side and I'm going to take one red bead and as I'm exiting from this one in this direction I will go through the opposite one and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to okay now I have my bead here in the center of my work then in my next step I'm going in this white bead like that and I'm going to add five black beads okay I have my five here going back like this and if you can you could go through the following red okay then go in the next white bead and five again okay five like I did before then in my next white bead and here I need the last five beads from this row okay five go inside here and then through the red one okay like this and I'm going to do the familiar steps go through these two black beads okay skip the next two the next one that's sticking out here and this will make a beautiful angle you see then I will go through these two beads in this direction skip this one at the center and go through the following two pull now this is what I have and I'm going to repeat this go here through these two skip the middle one pull and the last time here okay guys now you see my thread is too short to make another element that is why I will make some knots I will cut it and then I will put a new thread on my needle and in order to do this I will find the place where I will make a knot okay let's say here so here I'm making a loop going twice through the loop I've made I'm make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I'm pulling then what I do is that I go through the following bead and after that what I do is that I cut my thread okay like this now I have this and I will put another longer thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys now I have a longer thread on my needle I have about an arm span of thread 
so in with this thread I will be able to make more and more elements okay now I will go here next to this bit and I want to attach my new thread here okay and how I do this I go between those two beads make a loop and go once then go second time through the loop I've made and I pull okay like this then in my next step I'm going here at the angle of my work like this here what I do is that I cut my tail thread like this and from here guys I will start my next element if you forgot how I did it rewind this video up to here and do this element and then again 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 and until you have a bracelet that's long enough for your wrist okay I will do this and I'll be back okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have here I have 11 elements you could do less or more and now I'm going to go here through this bead here at the edge and what I do is that I take five black beads okay five and I will take my jump ring and I will go back in circle through this end bead here okay like this and now I'm going to reinforce it okay I'm going here through these beads okay go as many times as you can okay now I'm going here next to my red bead and I'm going to make a knot and now I'm going to make my knot by making here a loop and going once then going second time through the loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and after I pull I always go through the following seed bead and after that I cut my thread okay guys and now my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my bracelet is ready you could make a beautiful choker or, or necklace out of this and um, if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also help me by liking sharing and commenting and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials a link to my store and a link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me